right. Okay, this is in a sense a kind of a found puzzle. These puzzle grills, now I have to find the right button here. Uh, right. Grill work appears all over windows in Renaissance Palazzi all over Italy and even in France and Holland and Germany I have seen these things. Um, this pattern appears at first glance to be impossible. The problem is right here, these four bars, each bar goes through the next one. And this is a non-trivial puzzle because these things are sort of inch diameter wrought iron. So you, <laughs> you can't play with them. So how do... Please, I'm sorry to interrupt, but what is the problem that you're trying to solve that's impossible? How to put it together. No, but what, under what conditions? What? Well, there it is. I mean... <laughs> That's a solution, not a problem. I don't know what it solves. Well, it solves the, pr the question is, how did you get it together? Oh, I see. How did the artist... <laughs> how did the blacksmith actually assemble it? Okay. And when you look at it, your initial view is it can't be done. But it certainly... I'll get a bit closer view of the critical bit. This is the bit in the middle of these grills where each piece passes through the next one. Now you can sort of think, well, if I put it together starting way out here and sort of push in all directions at once, I could do it. That works okay for this bit. Oops, how did I get that far ahead? But how about all these other bits sticking around here? Now, this had bothered me for many years. I tried to get Jean-Claude Constantine to make me up for these pieces, and then James Delgetti made one up out of bent wire. And the bent wire one that James Delgetti had, I realized all of a sudden that there's an easy solution. And that is basically the puzzle. And we'll show you a few more. Um, oops, why the fun? Oh, this is just each piece is made up looking like this, basically. And if you inspect, we recently had an M.C. Escher exhibition in London. And if you look down here, this little chappy looking out the window, that is a puzzle grill type thing, except that it is extended in a way that is genuinely impossible. There's no way you can do it together. And I think Escher must have known this. And there is yeah, somebody trying to get out. That's another one, another side of the building. And then this is in another one of his. And there in the corner in the side is another puzzle grill. So I wrote this up, put it together. And I gave a talk at Colin Wright's Mass Jam in November. And I said I wanted somebody to be able to put it together. I tried to make one out of bent wire. And I just don't have the facilities or the dexterity to make it. And people said, 3D printed. And lo and behold, Simon Bexfield, who's been here, just happened to be in the audience. And he was demonstrating his 3D printers. By the time I got to him at coffee, he said he had already programmed it in. And <laughs> lo and behold, well, that's the other detail of the other. This is just to show that they don't always have to be orthogonal. They, this is a rather pretty one. This is on the bank of, I'm trying to remember now which it is, Bank of Italy in Florence. The first picture was in Vicenza. And 
This is the production that Simon Bexfield produced. And you notice that there are 12 pieces, which is a accidental but convenient. <laughs> and so the, in your literature, you'll get my little sort of four-page paper on it. There, are, there was another picture which is somehow skipped by me. So that's all I want to say is there, you can get these from Simon. Where are, are you here, Simon? Are you willing to take orders? Anyway, a um, couple of pounds each, three pounds, I think, probably get higher by the time he gets to you. But that's, and oh, I should actually show you one. And with the realization of the easy way to do it, you can take this apart almost instantly and then put it back together. A little bit of fiddling getting it together, but it's a nice little puzzle. And it's never been thought of as a puzzle before, as far as I know. I sent a copy to Jerry Slocum, said, no, no. Right, so that's probably definitive answer. Right, thank you. Let's thank David.